Oh, not the way I want to start my day. I didn't finish my lunch. I'm getting kind of fed up with like screwing up. I just want to be good. Oh my God, that's actually really good. So currently my diet looks a little confusing. I went on like a health kick a couple months ago and I was eating really like low carbs, lots of fruit and veg, like super healthy. And then I kind of started falling off of that. So I'm not a big fan of breakfast. I'll just sort of have a coffee. And then for lunch, usually a salad or a sandwich. And then for dinner, usually something low carb. I've been wanting to get back into being more healthy again and I haven't got a lot of willpower right now so I think Gwyneth can help me. So Gwyneth Paltrow is just like an interesting human being. I mean, she's been around forever. She's been famous forever. She has like this goop thing that's been going on forever. I feel like she's just sort of known as someone who's very healthy and eats very unprocessed foods. That's kind of what I want to try out. I think it's gonna be really hard because I feel like she's like crazy healthy. I am very ready to see Gwyneth's meal plan, bring it on. All right, so what she eats in a day, she'll have a smoothie for breakfast, a lunch consisting of protein and salad, and whatever she wants for dinner, which I imagine won't be what I want for dinner. She usually avoids high fructose corn syrup and highly processed foods. She doesn't mention how often she snacks, but Goop has four recipes for her favorite snack foods. Chicken salad, beauty seed bars, spicy cilantro lemonade. How is a drink a snack? This is what I thought. It's gonna be better for me to do this than not do this, but I'm going to be annoyed while I do it for some of it. So I'm gonna try and find and use as many Gwyneth approved meals as I can, but if there aren't enough to go around for a week, then I will use goop.com recipes since she is the owner of it. So one of the things I think is gonna to be tough is the fact that Gwyneth Paltrow is very rich and that means she can buy and also probably get the help to make incredibly fancy but healthy meals, whereas I'm one human that lives in a studio apartment with barely any kitchen. So I'm a little bit nervous about how I'm gonna pull this off. So I start the challenge tomorrow, but tonight I have to go shopping and get all my groceries for like half the week. The one thing I do already have ingredients for is the morning smoothie. And oh my God, look at these ingredients. This is just a bunch of stuff I've never heard of, like Astralagla, Togus, Adaptogenic, protein, cordyceps, whatever that is. What does it all do? Spirit dust. I'm gonna make a corn and avocado bowl for lunch tomorrow. The only thing is I couldn't find any corn. So it's just gonna be an avocado bowl. Also gonna make the lemonade right now, which is a snack for her. I do not think that lemonade is a snack. So this is spicy cilantro lemonade, and I love all those ingredients. It sounds like a great cocktail. Unfortunately, there's no alcohol in it. Damn. My lemonade and my lunch for tomorrow are done. 99. Good morning. It is the start of the challenge. Ooh, I am awake and tired and uh, about to make this smoothie. This has got to be the most expensive smoothie that has ever been made. It could either go really, really, really good or really, really, really bad. I don't think there's any in between. Well, this just exploded everywhere and it was uh, $60 for this. So probably about $5 has gone everywhere. Okay, it smells so weird. Okay, before I get to work, let's do a little taste test. Oh my God. I'm gonna be honest, this is not pleasant. It's so bitter. How does she drink this? Oh, this is not the way I want to start my day. What do you think of my food? It looks very healthy and like nutritious. However, I hate onions, hate cilantro. It doesn't look appetizing to me personally, but like this is, I don't know, it looks like a good lunch for somebody who likes those things. And then this is the lemonade. This is all you drink? Yeah, that's with water as well. It's like so sour. I haven't tried it yet. You haven't tried it? Oh, no. you should try it. <laughs> oh, it's very tart, but it's good. It's supposed to have the same amount of water as it does lemon. And that to me sounds like a lot of lemon. All right, so I'm trying my lunch. Mm. 
Mmm, it's actually not that oniony. It's not got the most flavor, honestly. I would probably put more lime and maybe some spice in it. It's healthy, it's nice, it's fine. So it's about 5 p.m. and I actually went home from work early with a migraine. I didn't drink my smoothie and I didn't finish my lunch. This is it till dinner. It's time for dinner with my boyfriend. I'm really nervous about this because he's a really good cook and I'm scared I'm gonna mess this up. So we're making the tar chicken bowl. The chicken is Looking great. Jesse had a great idea of putting it on the grill outside instead of the oven because it's going to taste so much better. It looks pretty damn good. It's so good. Oh my god. Mmm. I really, really like this. Thumbs up, Gwynny. So now that I've eaten that delicious dinner, I have to cook some more. And now it's time for these beauty bar things. They're basically like a healthy granola bar. Well, we tried cutting it and it's all breaking apart. Oh my god, this is a mess. It tastes exactly like vanilla. It's fine. I really wanted some yummy little bars to take around with me and now I just have to like carry a plastic bag of bits. It is the start of day two. I didn't do a new lunch. I just couldn't face doing three different things. I'm just doing the same lunch again because I had two portions. I have to do that smoothie right now and we'll see if it can be uh, drinkable today. Here's today's brown mixture and I'm gonna add some stevia. I've put more almond milk in there and I've put less of everything else basically. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't want to drink this. It's just very, like, <sighs> I think the sweetener helped. It's literally 10 times better than yesterday, but it was so bad yesterday that even today is not great. So it's lunchtime and I'm eating at my desk, but I haven't put it in the fridge today and it tastes a lot better when it's not freezing cold. And I also have less onions than yesterday because they were way too many. I'm liking it a little more now. Oh, and I had a little bit of a beauty bar earlier. I'm cooking for my friend tonight. I'm gonna cook her like an alternative to falafel. So, so far we have a pot boiling. We're making a millet falafel and tomato. Tomato relish dish. Gwyneth suggested cherry tomatoes cut in half. We kind of messed up. They look really <laughs> bad. <laughs> Try to take the oil out of it a little bit and then making it into a shape. They look so much better. Still a little messy, but so much better. Mmm, mm -hmm. that is good. On a scale of one to 10, how much of a success was that? Maybe like a six and a half. Taste-wise, I would say eight. Actually, yeah, the taste is really good. Yeah. Thumbs up. It's the start of day three. I have to be at work soon. And I haven't made lunch for today yet. Crap! I'm not gonna have a smoothie this morning. I woke up with like crazy indigestion. I'm gonna make a vegan Caesar salad that she suggests, except that I didn't realize she wants me to make croutons from scratch and I haven't got time for that. I might add tomatoes because otherwise the salad is literally just gonna be leaves. So I've sort of started it. Here is a bowl of leaves. So I have to pan fry these and then put everything in a blender and make dressing. I'm so tired and I haven't even done the dishes from yesterday yet. I've never made my own dressing before, so this is kind of exciting. I don't think I have enough liquid in here because it's just flying up the sides and then like not blending. I'm getting kind of fed up with like screwing up. I just want to be good. This is just lumpy and thin and smells awful. It smells good. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a little like plain. It's like a very basic afterthought side salad. It's very watery. You can see there. It's just like a pool. I mean, it's edible. It's probably my own fault. I'm sure I did something wrong. I'm just disappointed because I'm hungry. It is around dinner time. Honestly, that tiny stupid salad didn't fill me up. Why would it? So, I'll be honest, I had a little packet of chips. I feel guilty, but moving on. Still allowing myself the treat, which is pancakes for dinner. This actually doesn't seem like a particularly like health conscious recipe, but she does say she has whatever she wants for dinner. So I guess this is it. The interesting thing about this recipe is it has yogurt in it. Let's see how it tastes, it might be good. That is really nice batter, I will say. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, I prefer thinner pancakes, but that's because I'm from Britain and we have like crepey pancakes rather than thick ones. I still like it, it's really fluffy. A bit weird for dinner, but I kind of felt like it. It is the morning of day four and I just read a chicken salad recipe of hers that's meant for a snack and I totally up. You were supposed to roast the chicken and then like shred it and you can't shred the kind of chicken breast I bought. You also need a food processor to make this chicken salad and I don't own one. So I'm just gonna have to do my own take on this chicken salad. And then on top of that I haven't had 
breakfast this morning because I wasn't hungry and I also need to do this recipe which is a warming morning latte which includes no caffeine by the way I'm gonna try that because it's supposed to detoxify your body and my sink is full of dishes from the pancakes yesterday I cannot cook three times a day it's just not me Ooh. It definitely looks frothy, which is nice. Oh my God, that's actually really good. So it tastes really creamy and frothy and like a little spicy, but not like too much. It's actually a good thing that it hasn't got caffeine because I've been trying to cut down on caffeine, honestly, and not have so much coffee. This actually could be a good alternative. So I have to leave for a hair appointment in like 10 minutes and I don't have time to bake the rest of the chicken. So I'm pan frying it in chunks. It's a pretty simple recipe. It's just celery and vegan eggs. It's still edible for sure. Here's a cracker. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. It's so good. Gwyneth has this as a snack. If you ate double the portion, it's just a meal. Snack lunch. It's Saturday night. And what am I doing? Cooking. It's so not me. I don't think I've ever cooked on a Saturday night. And I'm alone, which is sad. I'm gonna cook Moroccan turkey meatballs. I'm excited I'm gonna have a delicious meal at the end of this, but I do wish I could just relax tonight. I only usually like cooking with other people because I feel like that makes it more fun, but it's actually quite nice to have some me time, honestly. Cheers. It's not the most appetizing looking dish. And she did say to put cauliflower rice with it, but I don't have any left. It's good. I definitely put too much cumin in it. I've never made meatballs before and I'm very impressed with myself. And I didn't screw it up. I'm like really expanding my cooking knowledge with this. It is the last day and I am so pleased it's the last day. I have so much respect for anyone that cooks all their meals all day, every day. I am at my friend's place. I'm trying to fit my socializing in with my cooking at this point because otherwise I can't do anything with my life. I just offered to cook pancakes for my friend. It was just the easiest thing. It's Sunday, it's brunch time. Have I ever cooked for you before? I think once upon a time, but oh. I don't really remember what it was. So let's get cooking. Yay! Okay, here are all my ingredients, including the extras that I'm not supposed to have. I'm so excited. They actually look good. They actually really look delicious. Yeah. I know I added extra things and that wasn't how Gwyneth would do it. It's Sunday. It's cheat day. Mmm. Holly's an excellent chef. They're These really are good. so much better than when I did them the other day. They're good. Oh my God. Look at me, little chef woman. It's nearly time for my last meal of this challenge. I'm just going to eat my leftover meatballs. I have all of this. It's kind of wasteful that I eat it. I think I'm just going to add some pasta and make this a meal. I'm glad that I got to cook more and to feel more comfortable cooking. I was actually surprised by how tasty most of her meals were. I mean, I didn't love the lunches, but the dinners were all really good. I'm never gonna touch that smoothie again. That is disgusting. I'm glad that I didn't feel like, ugh, I'm having to eat healthy. This is a chore kind of thing. I was kind of doing it while still enjoying it. Goop's recipes are actually like pretty simple to follow and I liked using them. I like their format. So I'm probably gonna use that again. Although I'm not going to 100% change my lifestyle after this, I'm definitely gonna consider it more. <laughs> 